Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Friends, uh, this is week two assignment of cyber security and privacy course. So if you are new to our channel, guys, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp groups, guys. So it can reach maximum number of people and students. So hope most of them will get benefited through our channel. So guys, uh, if you want us to please uh, continue these videos till the last assignment uh, course they have given. So we need your support guys. Without your support, we cannot move forward. So if you want uh, us to make better videos for the next probable, uh, probably next weeks. So please like this video guys. Many there are, we have getting many re, uh, the reach for most of the time, but we are lacking in the number of likes, guys. So whoever watches this video definitely like this video, guys, so that it can give suggestion to maximum number of students who wanted this course. So it will appear in the search. So do like this video, guys. So the number of likes shows how much you are supporting us. So we will calculate that uh, how many people are like uh, our videos so that it will be okay. so do like our videos guys so that it can give suggestions to maximum number of students in the search appearance so let's see the first solution so we hope uh, we have given the probable solutions only if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section guys so first one what term describes the quality or state of ownership or control of information so for first question the probable answer is first option confidentiality so uh, if we get any solution change so we'll have definitely update it in the comment section guys so do watch the video once again before the final submission to mark any changes so second question now so fill in the blanks the Macumba cube has dash dimensions with dash number of cells representing areas that must be addressed to secure today's information systems. So for second question, so uh, the probable answer is fourth option is that is it has three dimensions and 27 cells. So mark option four. Now let's move on to the third question. Uh, the third question so what is a weakness or fault in a system or protection mechanism that opens it to attack or damage so for third question the probable answer is second option vulnerability the answer is vulnerability so this is the probable solution guys now let's move on to the fourth question so fourth one, which of the following is not a component of an organization's information system? So for fourth question, the probable answer is, so guys here, uh, I think uh, fourth option, two, four and five. I think these three could be the probable solution guys. I mean, this fourth option but I am not exactly sure so please confirm the, it in the comment section if anyone knows that exactly so that we can give better solutions to our viewers guys so now let's move on to the fifth question now so fifth one true or false so the statement is that they have given us is this person responsible for the storage, maintenance and protection of information is the data custodian. So I think the probable answer is true guys. Now let's move on to the sixth question. Sixth one. Biometric data collected from users is used for what process? So for sixth question, the probable answer is first option authentication. So I think the first option could be the probable solution for sixth question guys. Now let's move on to the seventh one. Select the right options of the CIA triad. So what is CIA guys actually? 
C means confidentiality, I means integrity, A means availability. So for seventh question, I think so if we see the first one assurance that information is shared only among authorized people organizations. So it is true. Second one assurance that information is complete and uncorrupted. It is also true and assurance that information systems and the necessary data are not available so it is not the correct one guys they have given not right so it's not the correct one so first option i mean first statement second statement is correct one and third one is wrong so the answer is fourth option so mark option four as the probable solution for seventh question now let's move on to the eighth one guys So eighth question, match the following. So here, I think A is a match to five guys, champion. And B will be, I think, probably goes to four. C maximum goes to 3, D 2 and finally E 1. So I think this is the matching guys. So I think third option could be the probable one. So mark option 3 guys. Now let's move on to the ninth question, the last but one question. Ninth one. Who are responsible for the security and use of a particular set of information? So for ninth question, I think the probable answer is third option guys, data custodians. Now let's move on to the final question of the assignment, 10th one, true or false. So the statement they have given is, if information has a state of being genuine or original and is not a fabrication it has the characteristic of authenticity. Is that true or false? So I think it is absolutely true guys. Absolutely true. So friends, these are the solutions for week two assignment of cyber security and privacy course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp group guys or groups. So guys, don't forget to like this video. If you like the video, then we consider that uh, everyone is supporting us so that we can do better videos in the future. So please share this video within your WhatsApp groups guys and spread it as maximum as possible. As more as possible. So keep supporting us like this guys. So until the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.